I focus largely on um, uh, black populations in uh, New York City. Um, and uh, black men actually have the highest incidence and mortality from uh, colon cancer. And the biggest reason for that is lack of timely screening. Uh, and when we talk about uh, screening in particular for uh, colon cancer, there are actually several barriers. One of the most important barriers is uh, many, uh, many men don't know that they need to be screened for uh, colon cancer. Uh, and then furthermore, how to exactly go about uh, getting screened. Um, and so much of what we do is actually uh, find men who are um, eligible for, for, for screening. And it's currently uh, recommended that, uh, that uh, adults who are uh, 50 and older who are of average risk that they start to get screened for uh, colon cancer. But many people don't, uh, don't uh, uh, know that. And so once we find men um, who are 50 and older, we actually try to educate them uh, about their need to be screened for colon cancer. And then we actually take an additional step to actually navigate them to where they can be screened. So knowing that you need to be screened is one thing, but knowing how to get screened is a whole nother, um, is, is a whole nother issue. Um, and so we actually have uh, patient navigators who are actually from the uh, target communities that we uh, work in, and they literally grab them in by the hand uh, and go through all the steps that go into making the uh, appointment to be screened, finding a place where you can go where, that you can uh, afford, um, helping men figure out what kind of prep they need, how to com complete the prep, uh, finding an escort to actually uh, take them to the uh, colon cancer screening. Um, and then uh, we actually try to assist with follow-up after the screening test is complete in case there are any abnormal um, results that need, father, uh, that need further uh, diagnostic workup.